Hey, William Gilmore here for thescreenwritersjourney.com, and it is day 18 of the journey, and I've got a bit of a rant today. Uh, as you may recall, last weekend, I received an email from the Writer's Store advertising a bundled package of webinars and the uh, screenwriting directory, uh, and this was packaged as a Break Into Hollywood set, uh, and it seemed kind of interesting because that's what we're kind of doing here, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a little little deeper look and the first seminar or webinar uh, that it offered was how to sell your screenplay in 30 days using new media. I thought wow okay new media that's obviously something that I'm trying to work with here uh, between the new website and the uh, Facebook page for the website and the twittering and all those things so I thought okay this this might be uh, something to consider and there were two other webinars and you got the creative uh, directory as well, listing all the producers and agents and production companies uh, that would be in the market. <clears throat> so usually I am leery of these types of web webinars and seminars. Uh, I've experienced them in the past, uh, you know, going to film festivals where they'll have a panel discussion or at a pitch fest or you know, any number of, of arenas that, that writers conferences things like that, uh, where you're paying money to go in and you know, get some type of education. And what I find most of the time is that these seminars and webinars are nothing more than large-scale advertisements for the facilitator's book on that same subject. Uh, in this case, uh, our first webinar, How to Sell Your Screenplay in 30 Days Using New Media, is also the name of the facilitator's book, and that is by Marilyn Horowitz. Uh, she is an assistant adjunct professor at uh, New York University in New York City, and she's also the founder of the Horowitz uh, Center for Screenwriting, I believe it is. Yes, the Horowitz Center for Screenwriting. Um, she has, uh, I looked her up on uh, IMDB, and this is before I purchased the, um, the webinar package. I uh, looked her up on IMDb, and she's got uh, several different uh, credits here, all under producer. Uh, we have associate producer, associate producer, associate producer, executive producer, that's a good one, and another associate producer, associate producer, script consultant, and special thanks. And the one thing that's missing from that list is anything about writing, other than the uh, screenplay consultant. Uh, no sales, uh, no movies produced uh, that she has written, uh, and I think that's kind of important if you're going to be selling a webinar saying that I'm going to teach you how to sell your screenplay in 30 days using new media, that you should probably have a sale, uh, and it's not reflected here. Now, she could have sales uh, that she doesn't list because they haven't been produced, and that's fine. That but I would, I would like to know that um, because a writer has no control over whether the movie actually gets made or not. Our job is to write it and to sell it, and once it's sold, it's out of our hands. It's in the uh, producer's domain, so it's up to them. Um, <clears throat> but I can see why she may not want to list those because it, it may not have as much uh, street cred if uh, she can't show that it was produced. Uh, but I still think it's important at some point, you've got to tell us that you've actually sold a screenplay if you want us to buy the webinar. I went ahead and bought the webinar anyway because I've never really done the online webinar thing. Um, and since we're going on a journey, let's try it and see. It was a pretty good price. It's $49. Uh, the individual webinars, if you buy them separately, are $80, $79.99. So uh, plus you get the uh, screenwriters uh, directory screenwriting directory, uh, which that usually sells for, I've seen it on sale at the writer's store for about $19.99, so $20. So for another $30, you're getting the three webinars, so roughly $10 each. So an $80 webinar for $10 sounds like a really, really good deal, and that may be where the problem is. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. So let's take a look at the webinar and see what we found out from it. <clears throat> uh, I have to put the glasses on because I can't read my own writing this close. Uh, 
the webinar is about an hour long, and uh, it has about 10 minutes of Q&A at the end, so it's roughly about an hour of, of content. Uh, we go through the miscellaneous hoo-ha introductions, everything, first couple of minutes. So we don't actually start until about 3.27 into it. And my first question was, how long until we get to that first book pitch? Uh, which surprisingly didn't come until about 30 minutes. Uh, so we get you know, little tidbits of information, like you, know, you have to learn to tolerate rejection, disassociate yourself from the personal aspects of rejection. Uh, and this one, assume rejection is a sign of forward progress. I don't know what that means. Um, I, maybe if you're getting rejected, that means that you are actually putting it out there. So if you're putting it out there, that's forward progress, but it doesn't, I'm not sure. You know, are you taking the criticisms that you get from that and reworking the screenplay? You know, is that the forward progress she's talking about? It could be. She doesn't really explain that. But she does say about 20 or so minutes later, um, might even be later than that. Yes, yeah, it's actually about 45 minutes into it. Uh, ignore all criticisms unless you get three people to say the same thing, um, which is actually a very good bit of advice. Uh, that, that's, that's a good takeaway from this. Um, everyone's going to have an opinion because they're, you know, everyone's got one. Uh, but unless everybody is coming up with the same point that's a, a problem, you know, this person may like that part, but not this. And this person is going to like this part, but not that. So you got to have to kind of judge, uh, take everything with a, a grain of salt. Um, so unless you're getting multiple criticisms on the same point, you can probably let them go. Um, so that's a good bit. Uh, if you don't stand for yourself, who will? Um, find an arena that we haven't seen before. Uh, this is... Uh, a good bit of marketing information, I guess. You know, when you're sitting down to write your screenplay, you're thinking ahead of how you're going to market it. You know, you want to tell your story maybe in a location that, you know, makes it unique and different, such as, as she says, Antarctica, because we haven't really seen a good Antarctica movie since The Thing. So if you want to write a screenplay about Antarctica, that this could be a good marketing point for you. Uh, you have to have a point of difference, what makes your screenplay unique. Okay, this is all basic, generic kind of information. Then we get to um, her four steps for marketing. You have to assess, plan, do, and review. And that's kind of where we leave it. Uh, we don't really get into a, a whole lot of specifics. She does actually go into it in a little bit later, but it's not addressed as that this is one of those steps. So it was kind of convoluted. Um, you know, we talked about producers and agents for a little bit. Then we talked about William Goldman and the structure. And uh, so at about 20 or 25 minutes into this seminar about how to sell your screenplay using new media, we get our first real mention of, of new media, and that's when she tells us that she doesn't know what a hashtag is. Um, that when she first heard the term, she thought it had something to do with illicit drug activity. And uh, she has since learned that Pound sign is, is how you communicate on Twitter. She kept referring to it as a pound sign and not as a hashtag. Um, so if you're trying to sell your webinar on new media, you probably shouldn't tell people that you don't know what a hashtag is and then call it by the wrong name. <clears throat> um, and then we uh, get a discussion of... Uh, Again, very, very basic screenwriting stuff. Uh, you know, what is the genre you're writing in? You have to assess the market. Uh, is, you know, are horror movies going well right now? Are vampire movies in the horror genre? Or is it zombie movies? You know, that kind of thing. Then you write your pitch, logline, synopsis, bio, and query letter. We're not going to go into that discussion right now. If you want to know how to do any of those things, buy my book. And that's at 30 minutes. 30 minutes in, we get our first uh, book pitch. And we're given the, you know, the basics of, of traditional marketing, the things that you have to have if you're going to contact an agent or a production company, you know, your pitch, your logline, your synopsis, your bio. And of course, you have to have a query letter, but no discussion of any of those things go by the book. So, you know, if you've been in screenwriting any length of time at all, you already know these things. Uh, if you're just starting out, um, chances are you would have... I don't know. I don't know that that was really useful.
useful information at all. Uh, but then we're going to plan the campaign. Um, so we're getting into some marketing information here. Who's going to see your movie? Who's going to be in it? And how much will it cost to produce? Uh, that's all good information. I've been asked all those questions by uh, producers in the past. But that's not really planning a campaign. Maybe our definition of campaign is different. Um, that's information that you could use in the campaign. But it doesn't really talk about what, how to plan the campaign or what the campaign should look like or what types of campaigns to market your, your screenplay. <clears throat> uh, then we're going to plan the marketing, which uh, to me, marketing campaign is kind of the same thing. It's why they're called marketing campaigns. Uh, she gives us the three C's and the four P's. Three C's are company, customer, and competition. The four P's are the product, the price, the place, and the promotion. And then we kind of go off on a little tangent and takes a little while to come back to that. Um, we get our next mention of uh, social media or, or new media. You know, have to position yourself. Get a Facebook page. Get on LinkedIn. Start making tweets. Okay. Good. Good to know. Um, Find out how much screenplays are sold for. <clears throat> and then we come back to the three C's and we're going to talk about, you know, the company. What is the company? Well, the company is you. You are the screenwriter. So you are the company. Um, so what you want to do, some of my favorite, favorite bits of information here, what you want to do as a screenwriter is create an effective strategy for success. Done! Great! Let's go home. Um, create an effective strategy for success. What is an effective strategy for success? Could you explain that to us? Um, you know, what is a strategy that you have used that has been effective that uh, you know, maybe we can emulate or adapt to our own personal uses? Some, something, but we get nothing. Just go out and create an effective strategy to sell your screenplay and then pursue that strategy. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Done. Didn't need to spend the next, whatever it is we have left to, to you know, we could have ended it right there. Create your effective strategy. <clears throat> so who is the customer? Well, the customer is who the person is going to buy your screenplay. That could be the producer, a director, production company. Um, <clears throat> you have to figure out how to reach them. How are you going to market to them with your campaign strategy that you've created, for the effective whatever? Uh, doesn't tell us. Uh, no mention of the directories like the Writer's Market or the uh, Hollywood Creative Directories or um, I forget what all they are. They're on the uh, resource page on the website. Um, and then you have to contact them multiple times in multiple ways. But we don't explain what any of those multiple ways are. Uh, we don't even get the basic you know, email, snail mail, phone call, which I already knew those, so I was kind of hoping for maybe something new. Uh, if you're starting in a business to sell a product, I, I think you would already know those. If you don't, you probably shouldn't be in, in business at all, in any business. Uh, competition. Who is your competition? Well, everyone else in the business. Now, I assume by everyone else in the business, you're meaning all screenwriters. Um, you, know, you have to find out what's selling. Uh, how do other screenwriters reach their customers? I, I don't know. Um, maybe you could tell us that. Uh, maybe you could have mentioned the various directories earlier uh, back under uh, the customer heading. Uh, how do other screenwriters reach their customers, their, their producers and their directors? And I don't know. I'm going to call up Shane Black and, and ask him how he does it because uh, I'm sure he'll take my call. Um, yeah, it's just some of the stuff is just, just a little, little crazy. It, it just almost it was filling space, is what it felt like. Uh, then we get into the four P's: the product, the place, the price, and the promotion. Well, what is the product? As a screenwriter, what is your product? Just take a guess. Take a wild guess. Screenplay, maybe. Um, what is the place? That's where you're going to market it. Where are you going to market your screenplay? thought about going to Iowa and seeing what was going on for Starbucks in the corner. Um, obviously, you know where we're going to market uh, the screenplay. You know, we're going to try and, and market it in, in Hollywood. We're going to go to producers and directors and production companies. Um, 
But how do I get to them? What? <laughs> how do I find out where they are? Well, go to the resource page on screenwritersjourney.com and you will find a list of, re of resource directories uh, that will provide you all that information that Ms. Horowitz did not. Um, promotion, you have to reach the customers in as many ways as possible. And a lot of this is redundant information. We've already talked about you know, Reach the customers as many ways as possible as part of the four P's, but it's also back here under the three C's. Uh, when we're talking about, we have to contact them multiple times, multiple ways. Um, what the recent sales are for the price, uh, you know, that was coming back here in our assessment. But I mean, it's 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 saying the same information over and over and over. But we're going to call it this over here, and then we're going to call it this over here. So it sounds like I'm giving you all this different kinds of information that you can use, but it's really the same thing because all you have to do is create an effective strategy for success and you will sell your screenplay. Um, so then at 56 minutes into our one hour webinar, we finally get uh, really the, what the, the webinar is about or what its title is about, how to sell that screenplay in 30 days uh, using new media. And we are presented with uh, two weeks of Ms. Horowitz's charts, uh, for a one-month chart, a four-week chart. Uh, she's only going to show us two weeks here in the uh, webinar. If you want to see the whole, whole thing, you got to buy the book. Um, and basically that chart was the first week uh, of your marketing, you're going to employ traditional methods. So the first week is traditional methods. In the second week, you will continue to employ traditional methods, and you will add new media methods. Don't really tell us what those new media methods are. Don't really even explain the old method, the traditional traditional method, although I'm assuming that's going to be emailing and snail mailing your query letter and trying to call people on the phone. <clears throat> but what is the, the what is the new media? Now, the two weeks that she doesn't show us, uh, the third week uh, is going to be just new media, and the fourth week, she says, it's going to be review. Uh, so, we don't really get how to sell the screenplay. It's more of a how to market your screenplay in 30 days uh, without specifics. Uh, in fact, uh, the, the one specific she was gave, gave in this last couple of minutes uh, Using Facebook, you know, you have to be posting every day. You have to post something every day uh, to market and sell your screenplay. And, you know, it can be something as simple as, and I quote, I wrote a page today, which is great because that's what we talk about here on ScreenArtistJourney.com is that we have to write a page a day. That is our goal. A page a day gives us four screenplays worth of content in a year. Um, but if you're trying to market the screenplay, I'm not sure it's a good idea to go on your Facebook page and say, hey, I wrote a, play, a page on the screenplay today. Want to buy it? I, it, it was silly. It was nonsensical. Um, you should already have that screenplay written. You can say, hey, I've started a new one, but let's you know talk about the old one too. I, I don't know. There, was, there were no specifics. There was nothing given um, on really how to use new media. Um, and that was the name of the piece of the, of the webinar. And we don't really get into any of that until the last four minutes of the webinar. Uh, very disappointed in it. Very disappointed. Didn't really learn anything that I didn't already know. Uh, and what we did learn was very generic and very nonspecific. Um, if I had paid $80 for this webinar, I would be very, very upset. Uh, I'm not real happy having paid $10 for it. Um, I suppose if you were a complete newbie who knew absolutely nothing at all, and you just woke up one day and went, I think I'd like to write a movie. I wonder how I do that. Maybe you would have gotten some information from this uh, that you wouldn't have thought of. Otherwise, um, Maybe there's great information in the book, but again, it really irks me to pay $80 for a webinar just so I have to go out and buy a $30 book that will have the information. If I'm paying $80, I should be getting a lot more information than what I'm getting from the $30 book. Um, but again, I didn't pay $80. 
I pay ten dollars so you get what you pay for uh, would I recommend this webinar absolutely not uh, there is a 30-day money-back policy from Rider Store. I have two more webinars to watch, so maybe they will save the day and elevate this into something worthwhile. Uh, if not, I will be asking for my money back. Uh, and that's all I have for today. I will see you back here on the blog tomorrow. And uh, until then, keep riding.